sculptured coffin shape with gel, nude collection of gel polish by Yayogi and gel review in this video coming up. Hello guys, Anastasia here. Today I'm going to review Yayogi brand. Every gel polish comes in a box like that. Let's open it up and take a look inside. Every bottle is 10 milliliters with a brush and today we will try nude collection. It consists of six colors. Now you can see the consistency as I'm doing the swatches. Every color is applied with just one coat, which is pretty cool. I have to admit that they have a great coverage. I decided to not apply the second coat so you can see how it looks with just one coat. They have medium consistency, so I do not think it will be a problem applying color closer to the cuticle. And now you can see each color separately. Now it is also sealed with the top coat, but only one coat of the color. The numbers are in the upper right corner. I think 4 and 5 would be my favorite ones. This is the entire collection all together and today we get to try it as well as hard gel by the same brand Yayogi. And these are the nails of my client. She used to be my client but then she moved to another country and she was doing her own nails for about 4 months by herself and this is the condition of her nails now. As you can see they are red, they are overfiled. So I will try to do my best to not hurt her again. And normally with this condition, I would definitely recommend doing some kind of soft gel overlay and do it for about three to four months. So the nail plate will fully grow out and then we can try something else. But my client said, no, I came here to visit because I need extensions. I just couldn't go against my client's wishes, so here we go, doing hard gel extensions. First I push back the cuticles with a pusher and then I'm going to do a cuticle care. Alongside with extensions she was also doing her own cuticle care about 10 days ago I believe. So now there's not that much to clean so I will just slightly push back the cuticles so we can proceed to product application. I already fit the form and then I apply dehydrator and non-acid primer. Then I'm going to use base coat. Normally this is the gel polish base coat, but I strongly recommend it to use for hard gel extensions as well, as they usually give a great adhesion and it will work for a gel as well. Cure for 30 seconds and I'm going to use pink color, because I thought that with pink compared to clear, you can see better on the black forms, but as you can see now it's almost like clear, so there's not much that you can see guys, neither am I, so we are kind of in the same boat. When I was trying this gel in the jar, it looked that it is a thin consistency, but now as I apply it on the form, I can see that it is not really that runny, it's, it's pretty comfortable to work with, so I would say it's medium consistency. When doing coffin shape, make sure you taper the sidewalls right away and then cure for 30 seconds. Now let's proceed to the other nail. I apply dehydrator and non-acid primer. And what was I supposed to do next? Right, it's supposed to be base coat, but I forgot. I just took the gel right away, but in this case it's not that big of a problem and I will show you why in a couple moments. So for this nail I will be using clear, because on two nails we decided to use glitter as well. So it will be a see-through nail and also we will add some ombre with the gel polish. So once you start building the tip, make sure that the sidewalls are straight, they should not go upwards. The shape overall will look like it's coffin just because you fit the form a bit downwards. This is very important if you are going to do a classic coffin or ballerina shape. 
You can clean the excess from the free edge and side walls with a brush. And now I am applying base coat. As I didn't touch the nail plate during my application, you can do it at this point, but it is definitely better to do it at the beginning. But as you know, we're all human, so I just forgot to do it first on that nail. Now it is time to take off the forms. And I prefer using this method when I'm doing hard gel extensions because it eliminates time of the filing. I'm going to slightly file and shape these tips now, so then I can apply the product on top and will not need to file a lot after that. I'm taking off the sticky layer. It is very important to do it thoroughly. By the way, this gel, this sticky layer is pretty sticky, so be careful when cleaning this. I will be using a soft 180 file because that's all we need since we have only the tip of the nails. And also at this point, please do not let your client go to the bathroom. This is definitely a bad idea at this point. I am done with the shaping and now let's add some glitter. I will be using this one with golden and bronze flakes. I will apply the same builder gel on the free edge first and then without curing because we need to install it like inside of the gel. I will apply the glitter. So the idea is to create the shiny free edge and then we will do some kind of an ombre with this glitter and then cover it with a color. When doing glitter application like that, it's always hard to stop, but you need to do that at some point. And also it's okay if some glitters will go on top of each other because we are going to encapsulate it anyways. Then you can freeze cure it for about 10 seconds and now it is time to encapsulate it. And also we are going to build the structure of the nail. So I apply the coat on entire surface first, make sure you're covering every spot and then I'm going to take more gel and start application right from the cuticle and try to avoid bubbles because we will be able to see them. Oh, actually wait, I'm going to apply the color on top so nobody will be able to see them. But anyways, I recommend to avoid getting big bubbles inside of your enhancement because it can also cause product to break. So I'm just moving with my brush left and right and also I'm not going too close to the sidewalls because this gel is medium consistency and it will go there anyway. So just do not go too close. Make sure that the apex is on point when you're checking it from the side view and cure in LED for 30 seconds. Let's continue and on this nail we are going to do the same. So the whole point of my previous steps when I shaped and filed the tip was to get the perfect shape right away. So now I will try to do an application that way so I will almost will not need to file it. So if you have any imperfections in the surface after your first coat, you can fix it with the file and then proceed to this step. When also you're applying a gel like that, encapsulating it, make sure it is not touching the skin even slightly, because once it will, it may also flood the cuticles and the sidewalls, and the gel is going not only to burn, but it will be a nightmare trying to file it off from the cuticle area. And by the way, speaking of burning and heat spikes, yes, this gel was burning a bit, but the main reason why it happened, I mean, I am not surprised, honestly, because just take a look at the nails of this client. They're so red, so it was quite obvious. So what we did, we just freeze cured it for 10 seconds and then I turned it to a low heat mode and it was not as painful anymore. Now it is time to take off the sticky layer and all we need is just a very slight shaping and mostly I will be using a buffer to file the surface. 
I'm slightly trimming the cuticles after filing because it was way too risky to do it before the application. I'm using a scissors and this is how the nails look after the cuticle care and I really want to apply the color now. We decided to use number 4 from a nude collection. So some nails will be just covered with the color and on the nails where we have glitter I'm going to do an ombre. And I recommend you to do ombre just on top of the buffed surface of the nail. It works really easily and in my opinion it's so much easier compared to when you try to do it on top of the sticky layer. So apply the color like on two thirds of the nail and then with the ombre brush I will just slightly blend the color right into the clear. But try to not go like all the way and if you did, like I just did, slightly clean uh, the free edge so we will have some shiny glitter without any color on top of them. I applied two coats on other nails since our nails were clear and I think this color looks still a bit better with the two coats. Remember when we were trying them on the tips, those tips had natural background so it may look a bit different on the nails, especially if you're using a clear product underneath. And with these ombre nails, I also think that using two coats will make it look so much better. I'm using a thin nail art brush to get closer to the cuticle. This is a very simple trick that I recommend you to use if you want to get closer. And the second ombre, I will just slightly blend the color again. So we will have like a fall theme ombre from nude to glitter. Apply the second coat on other nails, cure. And the last step will be sealing with the top coat. Since we have gel nails, you can use sock off top coat as well as traditional hard gel top coat, and Yayogi have them both. And this time I tried the one for gel. And we are done here. Let me guys know what do you think about this look. I will leave the links in the description box to all the products as well as the discount codes. Thank you so much for watching. If you are first time here on my channel, consider subscribing as I post new tutorials and product reviews just like this one every week. See you in my next one. Goodbye!